Count Dooku is one of the most interesting and complex characters in the Star Wars universe. From legendary Jedi Master to revolutionary Sith Lord, his actions would shape the galaxy's fate for decades after his time. But between leaving the Jedi Order and becoming Darth Tyrannus, what was Dooku up to? Let's get into it. While several events occurred that shook Dooku's faith in the Jedi and the Republic, the straw that broke the camel's back was the invasion of his homeworld, Sereno. Dooku's elder brother, Rommel, held no sympathies for the Republic and had hired mercenaries to conduct a coordinated attack against the planet. With the Republic refusing to interfere in what they saw as an internal affair, Dooku's sister pleaded with him personally for aid. With his longtime friend Sifo Dyas and Jedi Master Kostana, he became embroiled in the war for Sereno. Dooku ended up killing his brother to end the war, resulting in him taking the title Count of Sereno, as well as possession of one of the largest fortunes in the galaxy. The Republic, now concerned with Sereno's recently uncovered resource deposits from the war, offered to assist in the rebuilding. Dooku promptly turned them down out of duty to his people and to right the wrongs of his brother, and for the Republic's failure to assist Sereno in its time of need. Dooku contacted Yoda and informed him of the events that had transpired, as well as his decision to leave his seat on the Jedi Council and his place in the Jedi Order. While this saddened his old master, Yoda seemed to understand, and Dooku's decision was respected by the Council. He walked away from the Order at 60 years old, becoming one of the Lost Twenty. Despite his newfound success and prestigious position, Dooku seemed to vanish from the public eye. Many believed it to be a form of self-imposed exile, as he considered beginning an offshoot of the Jedi Order. But despite these rumors, and no longer being a member of the Order, Dooku was welcome at the temple, and was often visiting to see old friends or to advise the council. Due to his disillusionment with the Republic and the Jedi Order as a whole, Dooku was contacted by Darth Sidious, who used these leanings to turn Dooku to the dark side and use him to eventually lead a rebellion against the Republic. Despite learning from the Sith Master, no Jedi was able to sense the growing darkness within Dooku as he walked among them in the halls of the Jedi Temple. Dooku and Sidious began laying the groundwork for what would eventually become the Clone Wars. Learning that his old friend sifo had secretly commissioned the Kaminoans for a clone army to protect the Republic should conflict arise, Dooku assisted sifo in the funding and creation of the clones. Disregarding their previous friendship, Dooku saw sifo as a loose end. In order to ensure his silence, Dooku took on the identity of a man named Tyrannus and had the criminal organization the Pike Syndicate shoot down sifo shuttle during a mission, after which Dooku was given sifo body. Dooku took sifo body to the planet Felucia, which was in the midst of a conflict that Dias had been tasked with resolving. Once there, Dooku made it appear that he had come to aid his old friend and that sifo had been killed in a battle and his body burned by the locals. Soon after, Dooku used sifo authorization codes to secretly erase all records of Kamino in the Jedi Archives in order to prevent his clone army from being discovered. Dooku then ran into his old apprentice Qui-Gon Jinn and Council Master Yaddle as they discussed Jinn's recent encounter with an apparent Sith Lord. While nobody was yet aware of Dooku's knowledge regarding Sidious or his apprentice Darth Maul, Dooku became conflicted at the prospect of informing Jinn of the truth. He ultimately decided against this and instead cautioned his former Padawan to exercise extreme caution not knowing that this would be their final meeting. When Qui-Gon was slain by Maul, Dooku chose not to attend the funeral, feeling that his presence wouldn't be welcomed or enjoyed after all the past conflicts with the Council. Instead, he confronted Darth Sidious in his secret lair on Coruscant, blaming the Sith Lord for Jin's death and Dooku's own betrayal of everything and everyone he once knew. Sidious assured him that every action Dooku had taken had been in service to the greater good and necessary evils. Jedi Master Yaddle then chose to make her presence known. She had followed Dooku after he informed her he wouldn't be attending Qui-Gon's funeral to inform him that the Council had been in the wrong and that she had chosen to step down from her seat on it. Now, however, she begged Dooku to stop what he was doing and help her defeat the Sith Lord. Sidious goaded Dooku to kill her as a final act of proving his loyalty to him and their cause of defeating what they viewed was a corrupt Republic and a complacent Jedi Order. Dooku and Yaddle engaged in a duel. 
While Yaddle was an extremely skilled fighter, Dooku was one of the best duelists the galaxy had ever seen. His mastery of the blade quickly overwhelmed Yaddle, and after a lengthy battle, he defeated her. Afterwards, Sidious took the moment to formally induct Dooku into the Sith Order as his apprentice, and named him Darth Tyrannus. Dooku's fall to the dark side was finally complete, but as we all know, his real journey was just beginning. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today, y'all. If you like this video, drop a like and subscribe. Leave a comment for what you want to see next. More stuff on the way, so stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.